arriving in Paris, the man who wants to be the next prime minister. Keir Starmer enjoying a French business breakfast before the main event. A meeting behind closed doors with President Macron. No press allowed, just two photos released to prove it happened. This is the Keir Starmer Labour want you to see. Do you think the French president wants to get to know you privately, not publicly? We had a very constructive and positive meeting, which, as you can imagine, covered a wide range of issues on my mind and on the president's mind, um, and to discuss ideas about how we would prove the relationship between our two countries, and for me to put on the table my ideas if we're privileged enough to win the election. The French side keen not to endorse an opposition leader, but it seems the meeting went well. This was a 45-minute one-on-one meeting. That is rare for the French president. And gifts were exchanged from the Labour leader, there was an Arsenal shirt, and from President Macron, some cufflinks. There's no doubt it's a good look for the man who wants to be the next prime minister. The bigger question, though, and the bigger challenge will be when it comes to his foreign policy. And on policy, Keir Starmer has been bolder, opening himself up to attacks over claims he could secure a better Brexit deal and a government keen to paint him as a Europhile. Do you think Paris thinks that Keir Starmer could be more open to a close relationship with Europe? I think that in the French, in French eyes, the fact that he didn't vote for Brexit definitely, uh, you know, counts for something. Particularly when it comes to defence and security, that sort of strategic culture the British have is missing. So I think that a structured dialogue, Keir Starmer's put that on the table, that kind of thing is, is, is very valuable, could be very valuable for the French. An entente cordiale is one thing, but it's a view at home that matters. I would do a much better job. In places like West Yorkshire. Well, he's probably trying to uh, cement a bit of future for himself, but, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's not his place at the moment. I think that there are opportunities for improving. There are opportunities, yeah, for new deals, new negotiations. doesn't necessarily mean that we have to stay directly away from Brexit, but there are ways that we can improve it. President Macron's not the first world leader Keir Starmer has courted, and he's not the first opposition leader to do so. Tony Blair famously got on with Bill Clinton before entering number 10. David Cameron met with President Obama. But it's a sign that Paris are looking ahead at the man who could well be the next prime minister. Ali Fortescue, Sky News, Paris.